Okay, let's uh, take that NCLAT uh, decision or SR promoter's plea against ArcelorMittal's plan forward. We've got on board with us Harish Salve joining in, senior advocate. Mr. Salve, if my voice is reaching you, your first reaction to this decision? Yeah, it is uh, uh, on, uh, in one sense on expected lines because the real issue was about spreading the money between the financial creditors and the operational creditors. And after the judgment of the Supreme Court in that Swiss Ribbons case, where it had said it had read into the act the need to be fair and equitable in distribution, that's what the NCLT has done. Mr. Salve. Yes. Mr. Salve, my voice is audible. This is Nantara Rai in New Delhi. What we've also seen yes. are certain changes with the modifications for NCLAT. India's fiercest corporate battle, uh, uh, you know, add NCLAT a verdict, which is modifying it, and saying the dues would increase from 42,000 crores to 60,000 crore plus by keeping the operational creditors' interest in mind. Uh, Mr. Salve, this is a huge precedent that's been created for all kinds of creditors. Let Forget me, the let me clarify. That are being it's not, We're talking about 60,000 crores plus. It's not the bid which has increased. What they have said is the total amount of claim is being computed by factoring in 19,000 crores of the operational creditors. So you have the total claim of so the, the bid, financial creditors. So the and that is why he has said the money will be distributed. And I think they've done some calculation that the operational creditors will get about 60% of their total due. By reducing it down by 40%, they are able to pay about 59% of the operational creditors. Uh, you know, this is indeed a coup to have you all the way from London, Mr. Salve, because, you know, you've also represented Arcelor Mittal right here in, uh, in that case, again, for SR Steel, the fight for SR Steel. Can you give us any insight after today's order, after what NCLAT has said, what the road ahead is? Is it a done deal now that it, uh, SR Steel will go to Arcelor Mittal? Uh, what is the, the roadmap in that sense? And uh, is your camp expecting any more fight uh, from the Ruyas? No, I don't want to comment on uh, what the Ruyas and speculate about what the Ruyas may or may not do next. But uh, I think the real issue here, and this will, in, I'm, I'll be surprised if this doesn't show up again in the Supreme Court for the simple reason. The Supreme Court made a passing observation in uh, the Swiss Ribbons case, saying that when when they were saying that this law is slanted towards the financial creditors. The Supreme Court said that you have to distribute it fairly. What the NCLAT has done is it has taken the view, reading that Supreme Court judgment, that there is no distinction between a secured and an unsecured financial creditor. And it has applied equitable principles of distribution between the financial and the non-financial creditors, the operational creditors. This is a very important principle I'm sure the financial creditors will take this to court. And they will argue that you cannot completely nullify the effect of a security so that you can't put a financial unsecured financial creditor on par with a secured financial creditor. Because that means that now taking securities and lending on securities becomes meaningless. That's an important principle now. Is that to be applied or is the is the equitable principle to be applied? Supreme Court will have to find the answer. The second is, how do you distribute? Now, the NCLAT, of course, they have modified the plan, but they have said primarily this is for, this plan is for the uh, resolution applicant. Now, a resolution applicant will find it very mm. difficult in that period to compute what would be the equities. It has taken months of hearing in the NCLAT to hear all sites and come up with yeah. this 60 and 49 formula. So, at the time you are submitting... Mr. Mr. Salve, you know, in difficult. fact, while you were speaking... 
Yeah. So, Mr. Salvi, no, in fact, while you were speaking, uh, the Ruyas have given out a statement at the NCLT saying that uh, uh, the SR lenders plan to challenge. So, it's not the Ruyas, so I apologize. SR lenders panel plan to challenge NCLT order in top court. Uh, you know, I, yeah, why that's would you I'm imagine saying. that the lenders. Uh, naturally. Hmm. Because, because they'll get less of the pie, right? Yes. See, when the plan was. So, if the. But, all the plans hmm. which have been submitted up till now proceeded on the footing that secured creditors rank above unsecured creditors and therefore when you are drawing up a resolution plan, you draw it up accordingly. Then comes the Supreme Court judgment in Swiss Ribbon Mr. Salve. The operational creditors, yeah. When the operational creditors challenged it, the Supreme Court said there has to be an equitable distribution, there is no discrimination. Now, that sort of goes tangentially against the understanding so far that secured creditors rank above unsecured creditors. So the banks and others will want to take this to Supreme Court once for all to have that clarified. Whether what the Supreme Court meant was that you must put to one side all the securities and the law of secured creditors and you must distribute the money equitably. That issue has to be tested. New, the new the new party that uh, Asra Mitra will have to fight is the banks. Uh, let's see if we can arrive at an agreeable formula. Big sums, one of the biggest cases under insolvency and bankruptcy court, the fiercest corporate battle. Mr. Salve, at this juncture, I'd like to thank you for joining us here on ET Now. The senior counsel, Harish Salve, and also the Asra Mitra counsel, only on your channel, decoding that crucial verdict.